carving out a safe place for his family in the most extraordinary circumstances. For Abu Ahmed, the intensity of chipping away at this rock is worth it. Every drop of sweat brings them a step closer to a safe place to live. Yet the toil of the manual labour, after years of living through war, is clear on his face. It hardly looks like that of a 44-year-old. With even the children doing their bit, their new home, a cave, is almost complete. منطقتنا منطقة جبلية وكانت قريبة على الجيش. الجيش دائما هي كان يقوم بالقصف القرية والقرى المجاورة. آخر شيء كثف الضرب علينا وتم جه تهجيرنا ونهدت الضيعة بنسبة 90% وجوز أكثر. The entirety of the cavern has been carved out rock by rock by Abu Ahmed himself. The family fled from the southern part of Idlib while it was being bombed by the Syrian regime and its Russian allies. They say they tried to find living space in refugee camps close to the Turkish border, but they were full. For now, they've pitched a temporary tent up by the roadside. <laughs> And so the cave will be home for his wife, Um Ahmed, and their three young children. Hamad is 18 months old, Hala is eight, and Abdullah is nine. Absolutely, Abdullah. Huh? Allah, man, I'm absolute. Through Abdiya? Yeah, يا ضرب مو طيب والجاج والحمام والمي الله يموت لي موتوا الله يموت لي موتوا الله ي... الله يسبب شقاوه مثل ما شقوا علينا هون احسن مو هونيك احسن والله احسن طيب مثل الأيام إيش كنت بدك تشتغل يا عبد الله؟ الأيام تحوز زيتون عبيد جدي والله صحيح والتين؟ والتين كنا نحن نحوش ونحن عبيد جدي تمام وعملنا أول إيش كنا زارعين؟ كنا زارعين بندورة خيار وبندورة وبيتنجان وبيتنجان إيه يا رايقوا فرفدون A tiny bit of home has travelled with them. Abu Ahmed is cultivating small pots of basil and sage. Eight years ago, when the rebellion started, he was working as a prison officer for the Syrian state. Eighteen months later, he renounced his allegiance and quit, along with thousands of other prison officers, policemen and soldiers. He says he couldn't take the torture he witnessed. أثناء السنة والسنة ونص هاي من الأحداث وقت كنت بسجن اللاذقية كمان كان في تم تعذيب وتم حرق السجن طبعا بفعل فاعل تم حرق السجن مقصودي وأخذوا المساجين من المحك من السجن على المحكمة وتم تعذيبهم وتم نقلهم دولي أساساتها بالأساس مهتري إنساني ما في. Even in this strange abode, the family try to inject some normality. It's not always easy. In the absence of toys, little Hamad picks up a dangerous plaything until his eagle-eyed mother intervenes. Abu Ahmed is thinking about how to make the children feel comfortable here. كيف بدك لاشتغل لك بالمارة يا عبد الله؟ مشان سهل أرضه ونجيب شميرته سكر هدول اللي بخوش ونعمل حيطان لبن ونقعد فيها. إن شاء الله. As the Syrian regime regained territory, Idlib absorbed all those still opposed to it. But now those like Abu Ahmed fear they're surrounded and the border with Turkey is closed. Idlib بمثابة الأم الحنون. وين بدها تروح 
الملي او الناس ما حد بيعرف ليش؟ لانه ادلب حضنه ابن درعا وابن الرقه وابن الحسكي وابن دير الزور وابن الشام وابن ريف دمشق وين بدها تروح الناس؟ ما حد بيعرف ما بنسلم انفسنا للنظام لا انا ولا اولادي النظام ماله لا عهد ولا ذمي ولا ضمير خالي من الانسانيه More than anything, he wants security and a home for his family. And for now, this cave is the only way to provide it.